Hey guys, Michael Chrysler here, First Choice Power Washing, Lexington, Kentucky. Um, let me first by say saying uh, thank you for watching my videos and and thank you for the feedback and the, and the compliments uh, and and you all asking me questions and and whatnot helps me decide what what other videos I need to make unless you know or help, at least helps me determine whether or not I'm actually helping anybody or not. So I know I'm helping at least one person because they said hey. I want to know how to put one of these Hudson float valves in in my tank. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Uh, earlier, I posted another video on how a uh, Hudson float valve works and what it's for. So you can go back and take a look at that if you don't know. Uh, I'm not going to waste any of the video's time telling you what this does or, or why it does it when I've got another video which already shows that. But basically, in order to, to um, install this float valve into your tank, you're going to need the first thing you're going to need is a uh, bulkhead. This is a one inch bulkhead because this is actually a one inch Hudson float valve. And when we say one inch, uh, it's not the overall size, it's the size of the, the, in, the internal threads or one inch female. And you're going to be using one inch male there. Same with the Hudson valve, it's just a one inch. So you want a one inch bulkhead. And in the case of a one inch bulkhead, the, um, the outer diameter, let me get this set back to zero here, the outer diameter that you're going to need to cut your hole is going to be, see on this it's going to be 2.2, so we're going to say two and a quarter inch hole will be fine. Uh, it's actually got a little bit of play because you've got that lip around there, so what you're going to need is a two and a quarter inch drill bit. This is right here, and I'm not going to waste your time with uh, drilling out a hole. I went ahead and done that already, but I did it in a bucket lid. And we've got this bucket lid so that you can kind of see. It's going to represent the top of your tank. Uh, normally, if this was your tank, you'd have your hole drilled out here. You'd have your other fill hole, and you're going to end up having to reach into that hole and do some of this work in order to make this work. So uh, your bulkhead consists of four items. You've got the, uh, the main bulk of the head here is uh, is going to be the piece that goes on the inside of the tank and comes out and it has the rubber gasket uh, on that. This is the side you want to rub in case you get this in a, in a package that's not put together or something. Uh, the rubber is going to actually be on the inside. Uh, particularly important if you were using this down uh, on your outlet and where the water is actually going to be filling. There's where you want that seal. It's particularly important to have that rubber on the inside. But at the top of the tank it's really not that big a deal but go ahead and get in the habit of making sure you do that you're going to want to go ahead into the tank back out of the tank with it and you're going to put this plastic uh gasket it's a it's a hard plastic it's not rubber and then you've got a nut and this nut was going to go on here but basically it's got an arrow most of them do have the arrow to tell you how to tighten but it's always going to be counterclockwise with these bulkheads so uh and the reason it goes counterclockwise is so when you start installing your other parts that are going to go clockwise, you're not going to be sitting there loosening this uh, this up. And uh, if you can from the inside, just hold it long enough to get it to snug. But then once you've got it out here with your crescent wrench, uh, or uh, channel locks is usually about the only thing I've got big enough for that, uh, you're going to tighten that up and it this is not going to budge much because of that rubber gasket so it'll turn on its own but there you've got it installed in the actual tank there I'm going to take a one inch um, adapter it's just a male on both ends and you're going to reach your hand in again into the tank and you're going to somebody's riding her Harley man you guys are lucky that I'm doing this video right now I could be out riding uh, but anyhow you know generally I'll put some thread tape on there uh, there's already some on this one. I'm just using parts that I have sitting around already. So uh, you're going to want to screw that in. Uh, that's one way to do it. And then bring your bulk, your uh, plug valve in and, and and put it on. Or you can put your nipple onto the onto your uh, excuse me your float valve and then take it under and, and in. It's you know same as one one of the other. So but but basically. Uh, I like putting it on the bulkhead, I mean, the, the valve first. I can get it good and tight on here, and then when I go up underneath, I can really get a, a lot more grip on this than I can just the one little piece. So, but as you can see how that works. And I'm going to tell you a little thing that I do 
This is a used one. I've already taken the screen out. I've got a brand new one here so I can show you what that screen looks like. But there's the screen. It's got a screen in there, and that's to catch debris before it goes into your valve. And that's all good and fine. And it's it's actually a good design to have that. But I actually, you know, uh, as you can see, we've got this male nipple here, this bulkhead, all of this here. And now if this screen gets full of leaves, uh, spider web uh, gunk and spider nest stuff and whatnot, all these other things that come out of people's water spigots, you've got to take all that back apart to get to this. So what I generally do is I go ahead and remove it. And it's just it's a matter of you know, unscrewing that top there and pushing it out with your finger. I take that off, but at the same time, because you've taken that off, now you've exposed your Hudson valve to the uh, to the elements, basically, and you don't really want uh, any of that stuff clogging it up. So, so what I generally do is we have a filter going before. It's coming from our garden hose, uh, coming in from the uh, water source. We've usually got a water filter there before, one that you can see, access, get to it, and uh, remove remove any gunk in there. So I take that off though, because it's a nightmare to get to, and, and you know it's restricting some flow. And just go ahead and do that. But so here we've got this happening here. You get this. Thing. There's your tank again. Now this is inside your tank again. Remember, water's coming in. Water fills up, gets to about here, comes up a little bit more, hits this float, and shuts it off. But basically, you can see the, how far you've got that you're going to waste in your tank. So when you're deciding on what, what size tank to get, uh, you may be wanting a, a big, huge tank, a 300-gallon tank. But if you think about it, that right there is probably a good 40, 50 gallons on a big tank. Maybe not so much on a smaller tank. Uh, but just remember, you're going to lose some of your... Um, your capacity there so when you're picking out your water tank but there there you've got it on the inside now now the to the top i like an elbow so i'm going to go and show you an easy simple quick just get, get that one inch get your elbow there clamp your hose on and you're good to go but because i actually put a filter on this this elbow is actually threaded on both sides and then i can run that go ahead and put that filter on there as well and then, the, then my nipple but this gets you the gist of, of how to install that Hudson float valve. Now, with all this done and said, I'm going to be posting this video on YouTube, obviously. But I'm going to link to it over at the Pressure Washing Resource Association group over on Facebook where uh, a lot of our members are hanging out and non-members non -members as well uh, are hanging out. But if you like, comment, or post on that Facebook post. Uh, you can comment all you want here on YouTube and everything, but because of the anonymity of YouTube, I really don't know who most of you guys are. So I want to make sure these are guys in the industry or trying to get into the industry, uh, looking looking at the Pressure Washing Resource Association as a source for uh, knowledge and, and better in their business. So as you know, as a reward for, for those uh, um, likes, comments, uh, or shares over there at the PWRA's um, Facebook, I'm going to go ahead and take all of those folks and we're going to draw your name. We're going to give it a couple of weeks, give you a chance to, to like it and share it. And Some of you don't check out Facebook every day, so a couple of weeks is enough time for you to find find the video, check out the video, comment, like, or share it. And uh, I'm going to actually be sending this one inch brand new Hudson Flows valve to you. Uh, and this is compliments of Bob over at PressureTech.com. Uh, He's kind of helping uh, you guys get this video to us. Uh, um, so he's donated a uh, um, Hudson float valve for you guys to uh, um, have just for, you know, sharing and, and just kind of spreading the word about uh, um, the PWRA and, and, and Pressure Tech as well. So uh, that's Pressure Tech, spelled T-E-K, dot com. Um, so when you see Bob out running around on the boards or... Uh, on, the, on on Facebook, just say hey, thanks, Bob, um, and whatnot, and um, catch you guys on the flip side. Hope hope this video helps.